Hi guys. Uh, right. So down in my part of the world at the moment, it's getting very close to summer. Well, uh, it looks like it isn't anyway. Uh, not judging by the weather outside. But anyway, um, nothing says summer more than a freshly cut pineapple. And today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare and cut one of these little spiky suckers. Rightio. First thing obviously we need is a ripe pineapple. Now you can tell whether a pineapple is ripe by the colour and sometimes by the smell. If it's got a really nice rich sweet smell to it then it's most probably ready. But as you can see here it's got a nice yellowy, slightly green in a few places, but nice yellowy orange um, skin. And it should be slightly, only slightly um, soft when you um, squeeze it. So this is a perfect pineapple ready to uh, get cut up. Now obviously you're going to need a nice sharp knife to get through the thick skin of the pineapple. Um, failing a nice sharp knife like the one I've got here, um, a bread knife also works quite well with the serrated edge. Um, it can cut quite cut through the pineapple very easily. Um, so first thing we're going to do is remove the top of our pineapple. And following this we're just going to do the same to the bottom to give us a nice stable base to work from. Okay, now we're going to remove the skin um, from the outside of the pineapple. Now, care must be taken not to cut too deeply into the pineapple, otherwise you're just going to be wasting all this delicious fruit. So just take the bare minimum off, and we can always take a little bit more off later. I hate watching videos where they absolutely butcher the pineapple, leaving heaps still left on the skin. So we're just going to go right around the pineapple, like we're doing now, and just removing the outermost skin. All right, once we've done that, as you can see, we're left with these little hard eyes. Um, interestingly enough, they form perfect spirals around the pineapple. And if you want to go into that, just search the Fibonacci numbers in uh, nature and then you'll see all sorts. Of... Anyway, um, what we'll do, we're just going to get a knife if we want and then cut these little hard pieces out. Once again, take care not to cut too much of the meat away. We want to save as much fruit as possible. Um, at the end of it, you should have something that essentially is clean, a clean fruit like we've got here, and it doesn't have too many of the hard pieces, although some of them are fine. Some of them are quite soft, and you can eat them no problem at all. But this is what you should be aiming for. Right, now's the point to think about how you actually want your pineapple cut, whether you want it in rings or um, chunks. Chunks are, I guess, more bite-sized and easier to put on platters, um, whereas rings are better for the kids and also us adults to eat as well. Um, so all we're just going to do is cut uh, most probably a few centimetre thick pieces of pineapple. You can cut them thinner, it's up to you. Um, I like a good chunk. Um, and we're just going to cut our pineapple into these rings. Now, at this point, we can cut them into quarters, these rings into quarters, like we're doing now and each quarter is going to have a quarter of the hard core that you want to remove also so just chop off the tip of each chunk like we're doing and you're left with these beautiful nice juicy chunks of pineapple now for the people that want to use the pineapple in rings what we're just going to do is grab a knife or if some of you got apple corers they work brilliantly i don't have one and we're just going to slice out the inside hard piece that core I was talking about and we're left with the pineapple ring like we have here. Now whatever way you choose to eat your pineapple or slice it um, that's cool. Hopefully this video has provided you some insight on how to do that. Um, I might have another video up dealing with pineapple again um, in the next sort of week. So uh, thank you all for watching and enjoy your summer pineapples.